Hey guys, it's Mihaela from Healing with Food and I'm back with another live video. I just finished the uh, fat chat we had with Dr. Griffin. If you missed it, make sure you catch it down below or inside the event I posted. But now I've been meaning actually to come live and do this video uh, since uh, Sunday. And finally, here I am doing it. And the question is, do you drink Gatorade or do you give it to your kids? I shared it inside my group. I hope some of you will join me live because this is pretty, pretty important. First of all, I would like to know by show of hands, a hashtag, love Gatorade, don't love Gatorade. If, what is your um, take on Gatorade, guys? And I have to tell you something. I never give this to my son. And you probably guessed, knowing me, if you've been following me for a while, I'm against processed foods and especially beverages for many reasons and this is one of them that I really 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 think it's a crime to give it to your kids or for you to drink it it's a metabolic crime you know why and and my son actually got to drink this one he was all pink all over his mouth I thought I had a heart attack um, I wasn't with him and um, it was given to him unfortunately if I was there I would have very politely said no Thank you. But anyway, so I saved the bottle and I looked at the ingredients. Let's read it together and let me help you see why this is not for human consumption unless you want to get fat, sick and tired. This is not a sports post during workout. Children don't need this. Nobody needs this. Okay, so first of all, we look at the ingredients. Water, sugar, second ingredient. So we know ingredients on a food label, hey, Vio, are listed according to the amount they show up in. So water is the first one, right? It's by volume. And then second ingredient is sugar. Dextrose, another type of sugar. Citric acid, okay, this is used as, as preservative. Salt, sodium citrate, monopotassium phosphate, modified food starch. Natural flavor means nothing, really. Uh, doesn't mean natural anything. Red 40, artificial coloring. Um, glycerol ester uh, of ro rosin. That's, that's, again, I think part of the coloring. And caramel color. So lots of, it's like, okay, so the ingredients are all chemicals, right? It has, now if you look at the, at the, First, let's finish the chemical part of the ingredients. So the ingredients are petroleum-based chemicals and sugar and water, which hopefully is filtered, right? But now if we look in one bottle, we have 270 milligrams of sodium, and I'll explain that, 75 milligrams of potassium, and then we have 36 grams of carbs, out of which 34 are carb, uh, are sugar, and I don't know why two are not sugar really because it's all sugar, but that's how it's listed. Okay, but anyway, these are th since there's no fiber, it's 36 grams of net carbs. Carbs that when they are absorbed, they require insulin secretion, so there is a high impact food. Now, so first of all, this is sold as a, and it was created and patented as a, a post workout drink because it helps you replenish your electrolytes. Now, I invite you next time when you sweat. So, first of all, we have to sweat profusely to require anything like this after uh, to drink, right? So, next time when you sweat, whether you exercise or you walk out and it's hot or you come out of the sauna, all I want you to do is to lick your skin and you to tell me what does your sweat smells um, smell tastes like and I'm telling you right now you're gonna come back and can post yes you were right Mihaela it's gonna test taste salty because when we sweat sweat we lose sodium primary we lose some potassium too but sodium that's why this drink has some sodium in it 270 milligrams of sodium and 75 milligrams of potassium so <clears throat> if what you need to replenish is salt. I'm wondering why you need to take seven teaspoons of sugar with the salt you're losing. How much sugar can you hold safely in your blood at any given time? One to two spoons at the most. But this drink 
this drinks gives you seven. You know why? Because one teaspoon is five grams, right? So if you have 36 grams of carbohydrate, that's roughly five teaspoons of sugar. We are going to look at how much five teaspoons of sugar look volume wise. I don't have sugar in the house. I have date sugar. So I'm going to measure seven teaspoons, right? And I'm not going to make them heaping teaspoons. This is one. One. And, I, and then after this, I want you to tell me, when would you take seven teaspoons of sugar? You're going to mix it in, what's that, 16 ounces of water with some chemicals to give it color. And then throw in some salt and put that, that was three, right? And give it to your kids. Or you drink it, four, five, you can see it here, six, and this is seven, hold on, right, five times seven is 35, am I doing right the math? If I'm not, correct me please. Okay, so this here, this here is seven teaspoons of sugar, is in this plus artificial coloring, plus salt, and a little bit of potassium. Now, do you really think you or your kids need this if you exercise for half an hour or an hour and maybe you don't even break a sweat? Even if you break a sweat, why do you need sugar again? Mm, hard to understand. Now, if you really want to make the equivalent of this that replenishes your electrolytes without the sugar, you just take some Himalayan salt. Look, in a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan salt, you have 420 milligrams of sodium, right? So you take half of that and you get about 210, roughly. And mix it in your water and drink it. If, if you really, really want to replenish electrolytes rapidly, if you sweat that much, best, get some um, fermented uh, be uh, vegetables juice with very salty and replenish your electrolytes. Make a meat and bone stock, a homemade chicken stock that will leach in enough potassium and you add enough good salt to it when you make it, like Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt, and drink that after your workout. You replenish amino acids that are required for muscle buildup. You, you bring in potassium and um, sodium and that's best recovery sports drink or if you can afford more carbohydrates like for your kids for instance you can give them coconut water best electrolyte known to made by nature known to humans so that was my uh, rant against Gatorade because I can't stand it I can't stand it to see people adults drinking it but then even worse when they give it to kids it's just awful thank you for watching live. If you like it, give it a like. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Whatever your feelings are, I am willing to accept them because it's, uh, again, everybody has their own point of view. This is my point of view. This is my take on um, what is food and what makes a sports recovery drink. And again, I'll show it to you again. Please go get a, a cup, a, a 16 ounce cup or bottle and put this amount of sugar and throw in some petroleum based artificial coloring and salt to it, drink it and mix it and drink it. It's the equivalent of Gatorade. And you pay, I don't know how much you pay for it. Maybe it's better if you make it actually with this kind of sugar, if you really, really want. But again, um, the whole idea is to think as, as what you put in your body as what makes you. If you want to have energy, if you want to feel good, if you want to look good, if you want to perform well, think twice before you ingest anything. Evaluate the quality of what you put in your body because ultimately you absorb it, you internalize it, you metabolize it, you store it, and that's what makes you. So if you feel like crap every day, if you have a hard time waking up, if you have a hard time concentrated, if you have no energy, if your kids are all over the place, you, you can't control them, you can't have them, have them sit still and focus on their works, unless they are on a computer game, right? Um, please, think twice before you feed them or, or give them any anything to, to put in their body or in your body. I'm not, um, anyway, I think I better stop here because this one, one second, I, I got a um, notification. So if you enjoyed this, if you know anybody that drinks Gatorade and thinks it's good or um, 
anybody that gives it to their children and thinks it's okay you may want to share this video with them they may not change what they do um, in fact uh, I'm not asking anybody to change anything I just want to bring information to show some facts so then you can make a fully informed decision and be in peace with what you decide thank you for joining um, like it share it and come and join my private Facebook group if you are not a member and um, that's it have an awesome day drink some salty water in case you sweat it you sweat a lot <laughs>